Dan Hardy gives his insight on the aggressiveness of Paula Costa's fighting style. In comparison, he feels martial artists like Whitaker, Till, and Adesanya could make Paula Costa look like a powerlifter if they were to fight. And I'll be honest, like, as, as dangerous as Paula Costa is, I, I just think he's a more reckless version of uh, than um, a striking version than Yoel Romero. I don't think yeah. he poses the same kind of problems to any of these guys. I mean, of course, if he catches you, it's the if bomb. It's like fighting Derek Lewis. You know, if he catches you, he's going to knock you out. But if he doesn't yeah. catch you, you could probably make him look quite silly with your with your skills and technique. And I think all three of these guys have got the skills and ability to make Paulo Costa look like a power lifter, which is really what he is in comparison to these martial artists. Start rating it off of him. But Paulo Costa is as dangerous a fighter as anyone um, can hope for. And, you know, when I look at the matchup, I know that Izzy likes to counter, right? Mm. That's why the Romero fight was so bad. Both of them were waiting for chances to counter. Ca Paulo Costa will give him those opportunities because Paulo Costa is not going to stand back with him. He's going to go after him. He's going to fight him with so much pressure, so much forward pressure that Izzy will have his chances to find those counter opportunities. The problem with that is no one's been able to stop Paulo Costa from fighting in the exact way that he wants to. Um, very interesting fight. And it's 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 hard to know who's going to get the victory, honestly, because for as good as he is, I believe Paulo Costa is just as skilled, just as talented, and as powerful as any guys that I've seen. I mean, this guy looks like a heavyweight fighting at 185 pounds. I don't know how he makes weight. Talking about a guy going in to be one of his training partners, a kickboxer I used to use. And I was like, yeah, I was like, he's tough. I was like, you know, he, he works hard. He'll always fight you. He goes, good, because Paulo needs so many guys because a week and a half in, he breaks them and he has to replace the training partners because he does not go um, to protect his partners. He goes through you and then give me the next guy. Reminds me of Kane back in the day. So interesting fight. Izzy will have his spots to counter because Costa's going to bring a lot of pressure. Ali Abdelaziz confirms to TMZ Sports that Khabib will be fighting before the end of 2020. Revealing that Khabib even insisted that Gaethje should face McGregor before getting his title shot. J Justin said no. Khabib told me to tell Justin to go fight Conor. Justin said no. Listen, we dictate. We dictate this. Conor right now, it's, he can be a backup fighter, he can go make win, and he can maybe make some money. But at the end of the day, that's the two champion. He's not even number three, he's number four or five. Like, Connor is like, you know, he can go fight Nate, fight Masvidal. We're not interested in fighting him. He needs to get some win. He needs to, need to fight some good opponent. You know, like I said, the only way he can fight Khabib is if he fight Islam Makhachev, and Khabib will fight him. Khabib is not retiring. Um, Khabib, you know, he has some goals. He has some to accomplish. Uh, uh, he's, you know, you will see him before end of the year. Uh, you know, now uh, him and Dana talking and me talking to, to the matchmakers and we try to uh, set a date. However, Daniel Cormier has doubts that we'll see Khabib make his return this year and feels unsure of Khabib's future. I don't think he's fighting this year, honestly. And it's going to take a lot of, uh, it's going to take it's gonna take a lot of uh, strength from a very strong man for Habib to be back in the octagon ever, I think. You, you know, think there's a chance he never fights again? Man, I just I just know what Abdulmanab meant to him, to him. Yeah. And I know that this was their journey together. You know, I, I, I hope he fights, I just don't know. Like, I don't know. Like I said, you know, it's gonna take, he's gonna have to, he's gonna have to muster up a lot of strength for an already strong person to go out there and do it. And if he does, I mean, I just don't know how long um, he'll be around. You know, maybe he fights, you know, maybe he fights and honors his father with another massive and unbelievable performance. But I I look back to his fight in September and when he won and the way his dad reacted, it almost like you, you saw the video where his dad kind of like reacts after he won against Dustin Poirier. Mm -hmm. It almost like his whole body, his spirit was filled with joy watching his kid do that. And um, I'm just happy they got to share that together.